All right, so last time we wrapped up uh, checking out the preferences section of the system settings. Uh, now let's start with the hardware stuff. Um, so this is more with your, uh, you know, your actual equipment uh, related to your computer and things like that. Um, your settings will be here for those sorts of things. Uh, the first one is Bluetooth settings. Um, so if we have uh, different Bluetooth devices, uh, first of all, you can toggle it on or off completely the Bluetooth features um, just by hitting this little checkbox here. Um, you can also access this uh, down in the bottom here in the panel. You can see it says Bluetooth. This will pull up the same uh, menu here. And it shows you what your uh, your computer is you know, visible as, like this is your computer name, whatever, um, for devices. And this is then available for Bluetooth file transfers. So, um, and then here it has my, you know, my monitor, my TV, whatever. Um, it's not set up as to connect to Bluetooth, but it's not necessary in this case because it's directly hooked up to the computer. But, uh, you know, but for things like uh, wireless keyboards or mice or, you know, um, uh, headphones, things like that, uh, you know, if you have headphones or, or you know, a chat headset or whatever, um, this is where you will um, want to set up the, uh, the Bluetooth and the pairings for it. Um, now there's actually a little menu. It's kind of hard to see it's a little hamburger menu thingy icon right here three bars <laughs> And it says settings so if you click that uh, You can change the name of your computer to how it, it appears as uh, You know on to other devices that are Bluetooth capable and it says uh, you can toggle on whether or not to show the system tray icon down here So that's talking about this one in the panel or it says receive files from remote devices. So if you don't want to be able to receive files on your computer from, you know, Bluetooth, you can turn that off, um, and it will not, you know, it will disable that functionality. So, um, but uh, but for the most part, you probably won't need to toggle those unless you would like to uh, not have the uh, system tray icon show up on the panel down there, uh, and and that might be a, a pretty common thing where it's like, no, I don't want it down there. I'll just, you know, uh, access it through the settings as I need it or whatever. Um, but that's how you access the Bluetooth, um, you know, system settings thing there um, for your devices. Uh, color. So this is actually talking about um, color profiles. Uh, so it's got my monitor here, my Sony Bravia TV. It says each device needs an up-to-date color profile to be color managed. Uh, in most cases, you won't need to mess with this. Um, apparently, it's got my printer on there as well, which I didn't even know you could do color calibration from this panel, so that's kind of interesting, but uh, um, really what I have used this for is not on my computer, uh, you know, my main desktop computer, but I've actually used it on my laptop computer because um, the, you know, the screen is not as good on it. It's older, uh, you know, it's an older laptop and it doesn't have a fantastic screen, so the, the, the default calibration on it uh, is very uh, cool in its temperature like that it doesn't bring out the warm colors very well and I like to have the warmer colors or you know at least a more balanced look so I have actually um, you know gone online and looked at my specific model of you know laptop and um, looked at community made uh, color profiles that, that that folks have made with you know professional calibration tools and everything for that uh, particular uh, you know for that exact screen uh, that is in that laptop and it actually um, improves the look to where, to where it's a more balanced look instead of uh, you know leaning more towards the cold the cold colors and, and things like that. So um, that is one instance where I've done that. And you actually go in here and it says add profile. So what you do is uh, you click on your you know uh, it would be the Sony TV if I was going to change the monitor uh, profile for my particular uh, computer here. But uh, but it would be you know it would say your monitors uh, you know name here you know under the device and then you would just click on that and you would go to add profile and it says available profiles so you can choose one of the uh, default ones that's here um, and you can actually uh, play around with these and see which ones maybe there's one just by default that you don't have to uh, go and get a separate you know profile from somewhere for maybe one of these uh, looks good to you but uh, but if you did download one online or whatever um, you, first thing you would want to do is make sure it's for your exact model of TV or monitor or whatever you have uh, otherwise it will not <laughs> really work that well and could even cause issues potentially but um, but if you find one specifically for your device that you have 
uh, and you you know you would save it as a file and then you would just go down here to other profile and um, go down to the other profile and navigate to where you save the file with the color profile and it will be able to apply it there um, and then it, you know but once it's set it will continue to choose that uh, every time that you um, boot your computer it will be a custom profile to fit the needs of your uh, your device so if if you do have an issue like that especially on laptop it's it's pretty common because uh, laptops don't allow you to adjust um, the settings very much like a actual monitor or TV would as far as the saturation and you know and, and contrast and things like that um, so uh, that is an option there for you and that's how you go in to do all that stuff uh, your disk section here this is mostly just talking about hard drives solid state drives your, your internal storage in other words um, or any external storage that you also have connected to the system will show up here as well uh, like I have this uh, DVD drive here it's an external one powered by USB but it still detects it here just fine it gives you uh, assessments of the status of the discs you know the size um, serial numbers it does it shows you all the partitions any of the uh, you know hard drive related hard disk or you know solid state disk uh, you know related functions are going to be here for you to you know add partitions to configure um, it's probably a whole subject in and of itself to cover so I won't get into it too deeply here but um, but th this is the section where you would uh, you know handle some of those functions and things if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read.com slash Jonathan that's books the number two read.com slash j-o-n-a-t-h a n